What's going on guys? We're about to do a tutorial on how to edit to the beat of an audio track in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a Workflow Wednesday. That's how we do it. I, when I first started getting into it, I couldn't find a single video on like how exactly everybody had those crispy buttery transitions and right when the beat dropped, everybody was getting perfect crisp um, video tracks and transitions and it, it was just, it was very confusing at first. I looked up videos, everybody was all over the place, had different things, so without further ado, we're gonna jump into Premiere Pro, we're gonna pick out a song, we're gonna get some random clips together, and we're gonna get into this tutorial. Let's get this done, next thing you know, you'll be edited into beats like a pro. So the first thing we're gonna do is I always use Epidemic Sound right here. Um, they, are just the best you can get a little subscription I, I think it's like $15 if that um, you get a little subscription no copyrights no nothing you can put it on your videos you never have to label or tell anybody you put them straight in your video done and did don't have to worry about a copyright infringement or a strike or anything like that usually I go through try to find whatever ones go to the albums I've already got a song picked out for this tutorial though we are going to do off the record. Um, I believe it's this one right here. Yeah. So that's the one we're gonna use. So after you pick out your song, you can download it. Like I said, I've already got it downloaded, so we don't need to worry about that. I'll just go ahead and exit out of that. So once you have this all popped up, ready to start a new project, we are gonna go edit in, or actually edit to Beats tutorial. Oh my gosh, I can't spell. That is a beat tutorial. Alright. So then you have all your stuff. I go to my sequence, my source bin. For a shortcut, if y'all did not know, you can on a Mac you can do command input. Pops up. I'm gonna go down to my downloads, find this. Oh, okay. So once you find your song, we're gonna go ahead and import that. So there's your song in a list view, or you can have it in the icon view. I prefer it in the list view just because once you start getting all your clips in there, it gets a little confusing, you don't know what. Um, first thing I do, very utmost, right as I, I review all my clips, I review everything that I'm going to be doing, what the feel is of the video, how everything goes with the video, what song I think would best make it flow better with the video. Once I find the song, which takes me forever because I, I love music and I'll just be sitting there jamming out with my headphones, next thing you know two hours have gone by and I'm like, oh snap, so bye. But without further ado, so what you're going to do is you're going to drag this right onto your timeline. If you want, you can hit plus on your keyboard to zoom in. Make sure the audio sounds really well. Okay, perfect. And for the next part, what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going to listen to every single beat on every single thing. And I hit M, it's a shortcut. So it should be, you know, you can name your marker, you can figure out what you want, what color you want it to be. Uh, I usually do red or green just so I can see it. Okay, and what it's gonna do, if you can't see it, it's going to put a little red marker right there at the very beginning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and literally through the whole song, it might take a little bit, especially if you have a couple of songs, but I promise this is the easiest way, just bear with me. We're gonna play the whole song through, and we're gonna literally hit M and mark every single beat. And I usually take my finger and try to get the beat, or I take my fist and try to get the beat on the table or whatever you got. And uh, so first things first, let's just go through the full song, get all of our markers done on every single beat, and then we'll add some clips and try to get smooth transitions from there. So here we go.
so we're just gonna hit turbo on this part so you don't have to see two minutes of uh, me going through and marking M M M M M. But there's you get the point. M M M M M on every single beat. Boom. So went through, got the whole song. Do not freak out when you see all these little green bars and all these little green markers on your program. It's gonna be, I'll mute this song for right now so we don't hear it. It's gonna look crazy. Like it, it's like overwhelming. You're like, holy, what in the world did you just make me do? Like that was absolutely insane. But if you come closer, you can see, I mean, you got, you gotta have a little rhythm for it, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta figure out, you know, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, and you gotta really keep that steady flow going. Don't sit here and have all types of distractions because then you're gonna be doing it and you're gonna look around and you're gonna be like, oh, snap, I missed half the song on the beats. Oh, no, like, no. Just keep it. Go, just keep it. I, there's a lot of this, I know. But that's literally what you do. You, you mark every single beat. And once you mark every single beat, What's gonna happen is that's above your actual project window right there, and you're gonna be able to, once I get some clips in, you'll see you can snap those onto the beat itself. So you have n nothing to worry about. You literally can snap one end of the clip, stack another clip right beside it, and literally it's the cleanest right on the beat, boom, transition. Perfect. So now we're gonna go here. Okay, so now we have all the clips put in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the first one up under my source monitor. That way I can kind of just see. I'll just do a random clip in, clip out, drag this clip over onto here. And if we expand, zoom in on the video, we can really see our markers right here. That helps on every single beat, one beat, two beat, three beat, four beat, and so on. So all we have to do is decide how long we want the clip to be. We'll say two seconds, and you see right there, it's exactly what I was talking about, how it snaps on there, that marker. Boom, so we snap it on that marker, and if we just listen and see, boom, right on that beat. Perfect. Once again, we'll see it again. So one, two, boom. So right on that perfect cut. Then we can add another clip. Drag this. Oops. Drag this to the monitor. In and out on that. Bring it over here. Maybe just shorten it down just a little bit. Put it right next to it. See how it snaps on there. And then I'll also a key is when you put a second clip in, make sure it lines up with the beat that you wanted as well. So it's going to snap right onto that beat again. So if we listen and see, you go, uh, uh. So every single beat is accounted for with the markers. That way you know exactly where to place it. If I zoom out a little bit, I can really come over here and say I wanted to put this and then have a little build up to drop oop uh oh have a little part of it to drop so if we want you know crazy sound at the beach that way we can have something drag it over here and so we have a little build up scenario right here where it's a flat line so I bring over my marker and once again, snaps right onto that part, snaps right onto that marker that we made, and so you have the build up. Boom. Every time. Perfect. Always going to be crispy, always going to be right on beat, especially with these markers right here. It's the biggest help in the world. It's something visual that you can see, that you can snap to instead of trying to zoom in on the audio and trying to see. I'll play that for you again just so y'all can see the beat when it hits. Mm, boom. So once again, build up right on the drop. Uh, it's perfect. 
and that's why you use markers to do your audio. Whatever you do, if you're beginning, pro, whatever, I am in no sense some audio connoisseur or some editing mastermind or anything like that, but don't build your whole timeline with specific cuts in your clips and then try to add a music track to it and do this. It's not gonna work. You're gonna mess up your whole timeline. Everything's gonna be screwed up. All your timing's gonna be off. You're gonna add transitions. You're gonna add this, you're gonna add that. And next thing you know, your two hours worth of timeline and everything turned into six hours because now you're recutting, you're redoing, you're replacing, you're having to redo everything like that. Again, I will say this, the music makes your video. Thanks for watching guys, that means a lot for me. I wanted to do this tutorial to show that there are ways to do it. Don't get down on yourself, don't think that you can't do it. There's multiple ways, I have found that this is the easiest. I hope y'all enjoyed, stay tuned for more, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, you already know what it is, it's Cole Kellner, I was at work below Wednesday, and peace!